revived myself back with excitement over this bag. So dead and then revived over this bag. So happy to have you guys back. Today we are talking about the luxury items. I'm really glad I didn't buy luxury things that I actually quite like, but something along the way stopped me and I'm really glad. I'm gonna tell you why, let's just jump right in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. So happy to have you on Stockard. I'm Maytel, make sure you subscribe and ring my bell because I do videos like this all the time. Returning subscribers, you know what's up. I love you, I missed you, and today we are talking about the luxury items I really like, but I'm so happy I didn't buy. Let's get into it right now. So the first luxury item I'm so happy I didn't buy are those famous Chanel dangly earrings that we've been seeing on social media for at least the past couple years. So when these earrings first came out, I kept seeing them in my feed and I was pretty, pretty into them. Like I, I thought they were so cool. And here's the thing, I've talked about Chanel earrings before. And when it comes to like designer jewelry, like Fendi, Chanel, even like Hermes jewelry, it's really something that's not typically my vibe. However, like I'm not gonna go, I, I mean, I've told you guys this, I'm not gonna go out and buy like a plain pair of CC earrings. Like I used to do that, I'm just, I've moved on from that, I'm not gonna do that. I don't typically love that logo costume jewelry. I like when it's something different, a little special. I thought these were really cool and stylish and chic and like just very Chanel, you know what I mean? Like they are logo-y, but they were different. You know, you had the sha on one side and the Nell on the other side. Um, and I just thought, I thought they were cute and cool and I love like, I love dangly earrings. So I was attracted to them for like several reasons, but I am so, so glad I didn't buy these earrings because I started to see them everywhere. And that's one of the things that I've learned from is that when I see something that I'm instantly attracted to, because the thing with these earrings is I was instantly into them and attracted to them. And I just like waited it out. I didn't rush to go get them. I didn't rush to try and hunt them down. I kind of like just, you know, observed the fashion scene a bit and I really kept seeing them over and over and over again. And they got so popular that I'm pretty sure Chanel repeated them because I still see them and I see them differently. Like when they first came out, they had like all crystals all over them. And now I've seen them in just like plain gold metal, which are still really cool but I just think they got too popular too fast. So even though I still really like them and I think they're really, really cute, I'm so happy I didn't buy them. They just got a little too viral too quickly. It's a lot of money to spend. And when something is so, so popular, I'd rather just save my money for something a little more special. Number two, I am so, so happy that I did not buy the Prada ankle boots of this past fall winter season. Going into summer, I know it's gonna happen because you know what, fall is the biggest fashion season. I think everyone gets really into switching up their wardrobe in fall. The Prada boots that I'm referring to are kind of like the second generation of the very, very popular Prada combat boots that I kind of referred to as like Laura Croft Tomb Raider vibes. We've talked about them a million times on this channel. So I'm not gonna go so into detail about these boots, but very, very popular, you know the boots. These Prada boots came out at the same time as the Bottega Chunky Love boots that I absolutely loved. And I actually got in on those early. I bought those right away. I was really into like the Chunky Love oversized boot, which I, I still am. But with those Bottega boots, I felt like they made my feet look like clown feet, like literal Bozo the Clown vibes in those Bottegas, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like I, because I'm 5'2", you know, those Bottegas, they're like slim on the ankle and then like very chunky on the feet. So I was just like, I looked like four foot five max. I literally looked like I was going to your child's birthday party to entertain, you know, the entertainment of the party. It was not a vibe with the Bottegas. So I actually sold them on my Instagram. I was like, Ugh, I still want like this chunky love boot. So because I sold the Bottegas from like the first season that these love boots kind of came out, I thought, oh, maybe this like shorter ankle version of the Pradas would be good for me because you know, it's not like so high and like, I don't know, it's just like different proportions. I thought they might suit me better, but I'll tell you why I'm so glad I didn't buy those products. Not because they're not great, because they are great. They're really cool and I still really, really like them to this day. Kind of like what I said about the Chanel earrings. They just continued to gain more and more popularity and they're just very, very common and they've also been duped a lot of times. Like you see a lot of like cheaper fashion brands like making versions of these Prada boots with the pockets and all of that. 
So I'm just so, so happy I didn't buy them. Also, the thing is like when a hot fashion item comes out and it's like really hot for the season, when they do it again the second season, it's almost like, it's not like it's not cool anymore. It's definitely not what I mean. It's, it's hard to explain. It's just like, it's already been done the previous season. It's kind of like, not old news, but it's like, that's when you know it's getting so popular. So it just becomes kind of like too overkill. For me, I just, when I see it too many times and I see it all over the place on social media, on everyone, I just get sick of these items. So I'm so, so happy I passed on those Prada ankle boots. Number three, another Chanel item, but totally different. And I'm gonna say, I'm so happy that I didn't buy. Every Chanel 19 I've pretty much ever seen, not that I could ever afford that, but what I mean is, but every Chanel 19 I've ever seen, it just seems like gets better than what I've seen before. It just feels like every new Chanel 19 I see just gets better and better and better. When the Chanel 19 first came out and when that houndstooth, like fabric, tweed, whatever it was, came out, I was literally deceased dead on the floor with this bag, deceased, and then revived myself back with excitement over this bag. So dead and then revived over this bag. And I thought, how can Chanel ever top this? Then Chanel kept coming out with like new colors, new fabrics, new tweeds, new colors of leather, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And then they started doing like white on black, black on white, chains on that, like just, I just, and I'm like, whoa, it's like better than before. It's like way better. And the thing is like, Every time I think like, oh, I really want a Chanel 19 because it's, for me, one of my favorite bags. The thing is that they keep on making such magnificent designs of this bag that I'm always going to feel like, what if? So <laughs> I know that's weird because I love the Chanel 19. So it's not like anything that I would buy, I would necessarily regret, but I actually really am happy because I was really, really obsessed with that houndstooth. Now the bags that I've been seeing, like I like even more, I think they're more special and they're actually more me. So I am just really happy that I didn't bite on all these. Not that I could buy all of them, but just like not jumping the gun on these. Number four, I am so happy that I did not buy the thick V Valentino belt. What's it called? Like the super V or something? I don't know. That, I could have made that up. The Thick V Valentino belt, actually, I still very, very much like it. I did recently buy the Thick Alaya belt that I showed you guys in a couple videos ago. I am so, so obsessed with that Alaya belt. I kind of like it more. I like that there's no branding on it. However, that Valentino belt is just really, really special. I really, really love that thick statement style belt, but the V is very big and in your face. I'm okay with a little logo here and there. I mean, you guys know that. I definitely do like a little logo, but with this one, I don't know. It's just like always like, mm, I don't know if I always want like a huge V with this. So I'm very, very happy I chose the Alaya belt over the Valentino because the Alaya is just like a little bit more me. I love the buckles. I love the thickness. I love that there's no branding, but it's still so, so fashionable and stylish. So, you know, pretty happy I didn't bite and spend the money on that belt, but like I'm on thin ice with it because I really do, I love it. Number five, uh, I am so, so happy. I didn't buy this black and white Fendi full piece bathing suit. Why am I happy? Do I even have reasons for this? You know what? I bought a Fendi bathing suit a couple years ago. It's so cool. It's from the Nicki Minaj collab and I, I love it. It's like pink on pink. It's very Miami. I wore it once and once only in Miami. And that's the reason I'm really glad I didn't buy this Fendi black and white bathing suit because I only wore the other one once. And don't get me wrong, I actually really love designer swimwear. Like I thoroughly do love designer swimwear. The thing with this Fendi though, is that I just feel like it's very of the moment. I do like it, it's really cool, but it's kind of like just like a flex kind of bathing suit. There's nothing too, too special about it. I do like it, not enough to spend so much money on it. So I'm just really happy that I passed on this one. Number five, I'm so, so happy. I did not buy the oversized like Gucci bucket hat and any Dior bucket hat that I've seen because I am a bucket hat fan. I've told you guys this, I love me a bucket hat. In the end, I chose Prada and I was still looking for, like I was still thinking like, oh, I should get this too and I should get this too. But then I was like, no, I do not need like, three plus bucket hats in my life. First of all, this is a trend. This is not a classic. This is not something we're gonna see in like five years from now. It's very, very trendy. You know, it's good last season, this season, probably next season, maybe the next, but then it'll for sure die out, if not sooner than that. So I chose one, like I'm learning. I'm getting better, you guys. But it's like, 
I don't need a logo Gucci hat, like monogram, like it's a lot. We don't always have to be in like splattered monogram, you know? We just don't. So I'm really glad I just stuck to, you know, the one Prada bucket hat. There's no need for more than that. I really love the Dior bucket hat as well, which is I think reversible. So I have like the logo on one side and then a different print on the other or maybe plain on the other. I don't know, I was really into the Dior bucket hat for a minute and I was thinking, oh, I should totally get this also. But again, I'm so happy that I didn't because first of all, I probably wouldn't wear it on the logo side. I'd only wear it on the one side. I don't really need it since I have the other one. Again, it's not a trend that's gonna last and it's a lot of money. So very, very pleased and impressed with my ability to resist. Like I'm just getting better and better, becoming so much more discerning in the things that I buy. And like, I know I still buy stuff, so I can't act like I'm so minimalistic and everything, but I have gotten better. Very happy I did not buy these bucket hats. Number six, useless Hermes items. Yes, useless Hermes fashion, useless Hermes accessories, useless Hermes home decor, useless Hermes everything. Now don't get me wrong, I love Hermes. And I love a lot of Hermes fashion, ready to wear footwear, and definitely home decor and home accessories. I do. There's a lot though that I also don't like. And what I used to do is I would just try and build up my quota to be, you know, offered the bag that I wanted. Like I'd put in a request for a bag, like a Kelly, let's say, and then, you know, I'd have to like go in and buy a bunch of stuff. And oftentimes I'd buy stuff that I wanted, definitely did not need. and. A lot of times I bought stuff that I wasn't even sure that I wanted. Now, if you ever hear people or influencers tell you that they only buy Hermes because they absolutely love Hermes, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, <laughs> bold face. Maybe it's not a lie. Maybe I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, I know how it works. I know the game. I've been in the game at Hermes and I've played the game. I'll admit it, I've played the game. I have fallen victim to this. So I've bought things that were not necessarily so good. I thought in the moment, yeah, it's good. Or I'll go and I'll buy gifts for people there because also like you build up your profile when you're buying constantly. So, you know, you have a gift, you have a birthday, go buy a gift at Hermes. Everybody knows this by now, it's not a secret. I kind of like just changed that around. Like I was just like, I'm not doing this anymore. Like I love Hermes. And I'll go in when I want, I'll buy what I want when I want. Like I love the sandals, I love some of the swimwear, I love some, I love the scarves, but I'm not gonna buy like useless things. There's a lot of home decor that's beautiful too. Like if I had endless money, God, I'd love to spend 30 grand on a set of plates, but that's just not where I'm at. <laughs> and I'm not interested in, you know, dishing out that kind of cash at this point in my life for, you know, plates and stuff. I'm just not that fanatical about Hermes. I do like it, but I'm gonna do it on my own terms. So I've taken the power into my own hands. You know what I'm saying? So love Hermes, really do. I have really honed in on the not buying useless Hermes stuff. In fact, I have not shopped at Hermes for such a long, 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 long time. And I'm okay with that. Number eight, I'm so happy that I did not buy the Bottega pouch chain. And this is a bag I gotta tell you that I really love. Love this bag, I do. The thing about this bag is that I just wonder, like the thing with Bottega is that it's so hot and trendy right now. And I really, I'm very into Bottega, but I'm also very not into Bottega. So I have a like love, 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 or like yikes, absolutely not, never in this lifetime. And there is no in between. It's either like obsessed or like throw it off a cliff and smother it in its sleep. When it comes to Bottega for me, this pouch chain, I absolutely absolutely love. The thing is, I already have the pouch clutch, which I love. I have the mini pouch on the, like on the leather strap, which I love. This bag, it's, I'm so attracted to it. I wonder like, is it going to be super hot in a couple of years from now? I just don't want to spend like 4K on this because I already have several trendy bags. I just don't want to buy something that I'm gonna get sick of in a couple seasons from now. I really want to buy stuff that I know I'm gonna like, for seasons to come that are gonna have longevity in my closet and in my wardrobe. I also did get the Bottega Jody bag. I think it's size medium. Some of you guys asked me on Instagram what size this bag is. I think it's a medium. I think it comes in a larger size. And of course we have seen the mini Jody, which I love. 
Uh, but I personally love the medium size because I love it as an everyday bag that's still really cool and fashionable. This pouch chain for me wouldn't be an everyday bag. It'd be more of like a going out bag. Like it's not something I'd wear to go run errands or, you know, driving around town, driving around my kids. So while I love it, I just don't know how long I will love it for. If I'll get sick of it, it doesn't have across the board functionality for me. So I'm very, very happy I passed on this bag, but I really, really love it. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. A little all over the place, but you know, that's how we do here on Style Hard. I love you guys so, so much. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you loved that you're happy you didn't buy because I love hearing from you guys. And I get a lot of really good ideas from you. So if you have any particular things you want me to cover here on YouTube, let me know. You can always also hit me up on Instagram. Love hearing from you all across my social channels. But in the meantime, I have some really great fashion videos coming out for you. You're gonna love them. I'll be back in a couple of days with another really great one and I cannot wait to see you. So until next time, bye.